Matthews is it through the gap. He finds the gap. Oh, my goodness. Other end at this ball. A much needed down. He's lost out of the gap. Well, it was. And that ball, getting, it's got a bit of spin on it. And it's just done him in the spin. So well the shot. So it clunks down the ground. It's gone for four. Aston can't get across. So Cruz not finding the middle of the back. So there's a runner ball on anyway with the field even inside the ring standing right back on the edge and two to go. Umpire. I have my doubts here. This is out. Let's have a look. Poncho and the bell come off from that picture. Oh, so safe. Yeah, I think he's. Uh, I think he's pretty safely in there. Two balls gone. Full toss in just a single. the ball up. Oh, oh, just do the single. And you won't mind uh, single. He took this. Well, I'll get back for a second. It'll be just a uh, single and Cleveland will take the strike. This is what he wants. But it's going to be difficult to hit boundaries when uh, Nash bowls deliveries like that. That's in the black hole. It's got the head straight. This one is shot just straight up in the air. It could be caught easily by Roger Cruz.
half volley, gone. Can't bowl there, not to him. Well, the crowd roar, they're on their feet. Their man's doing it again. And Ian Smith was talking about the length. You can't bowl this length. You've got to rather bowl a low full toss than uh, a shorter length. I don't know why he bothered to look so long. He knew where it was going. Now then, O'Connor. Get it right this time. Again, half volley. That's a bigger one. That is not good bowling. I know the margin for error is slim, but you've got to deliver. What a crowd. And I have they having some fun this afternoon. They've seen some fantastic figure today. And this man, Kluzner, what do you say about this? First two deliveries. He is faced from uh, O'Connor. Abraham's got the single. And the next two deliveries went bang and bang. Out the park. Uh, in the air. This is uh, a chance. Spearman runs forward. He can't get it. It's gone through his legs. It won't get to the rope, or will it? Walker does brilliantly. They'll come back for three. Oh, Spearman took the gamble. He thought he could take the catch. In the end, crossed two more. Follows him. Now, he hasn't hit it over the rope. Spearman goes around again. He'll get two. He keeps the strike. Well, not a very good length again from O'Connor. He bowled it a bit short. He's got to get right in that block hole. But Kluzner just chips it over the wicket. As, uh, well, a belated applause from the crowd as everyone suddenly realises the great man has got 50. Half volley. Smashes it straight. He gets four. Unbelievable shot. The length was wrong. The bowler in the background knows it. They need three from one. What a contest. And this crowd, they've seen some cricket. They're on their feet as the man, Kluzner, hits it straight. One bounce over the ropes. And what a climax to this game it's been. South Africa need three more runs to win. Just one ball remaining. Two runs will be a tie. O'Connor, low full toss. He's done it again. Kluzner has smashed it. And South Africa have pulled off yet another unlikely victory. He is a genuine hero. The Kiwis are absolutely distraught. But up on that balcony, they stand for that man. And they jump for that man. He is an amazing asset. Unbelievable. Lance Klusner, the crowd rise to you. You've done it again. Absolutely amazing. I didn't think it was possible he could do it again. But he surely has. 59 not out, 42 deliveries faced, two fours. The last one being the clincher to go with his four sixes. Unbelievable. And let's not forget Shafiq Abraham. The partnership was the key. 69 from 54 balls. Klusner will get the headlines.